Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video we're going to be unboxing and reviewing as well as doing a sound test of the Epa Maker Skywing SK61 gaming keyboard. This is a mechanical gaming keyboard that is RGB backlit, water resistant, has a type C cable, and these do have Gateron optical yellow switches. This is the gray variant, retails for about 80 bucks, and these are hot swappable keys. This video was recommended to me by a few other people from a few videos before. They told me to do a lot more peripherals, such as in like a setup for gaming, so I went ahead and did that. Without further ado, let's get into it. Wow. So I picked this one specifically because it has like a nice, sleek, modern look to it. And I like how this little accent for the escape button is in red. Now you can obviously change all of these. They do have a few other variants like black, this one, and I believe like a pink. So yeah, there's different other colors. Anyways, let's go ahead and take it out. All right. Let's put it to the side for a second. So in here we just have some, I think it's a user manual, yep. And then this is right here, just little options for everything. So since it is 60%, I have to be able to press FN and one of these buttons underneath. Nice, that's a nice braided cable. So there's a little box on top, so make sure you grab that. We have a USB Type-C to USB-A gold plated cable. Nice braided nylon cable. Right here we have, I believe, some extra PBT caps. Yes, we do. What I mean is because, see, this one is CTRL. If you want it to be fully control, like into that text, you can put that in there. And then you can put option in there and then command in there as well. So you can switch with that. Then right here, I believe this is the for the hot swappable keys. Yep, so you have a key cap puller and a switch puller. I don't recommend using either of these because you could scratch your keys get like an actual set if you're gonna do that. Last but not least, we have the keyboard. So here it is. It has a nice, obviously a sleek look. I really love this keyboard design. It has like an eight degree ergonomic view, which is similar to the Diary DK61E. Really good, it's not too heavy, not too light. Uh, the rubber stops on the bottom, so it'll have grip when it's on the bottom. Obviously it doesn't move. And uh, yeah, really quick, we're gonna go ahead and do a sound test. So if you loop them, it'll probably sound closer to the shift button. If you do wanna dampen, obviously, the sound a little bit more. But the feeling of this, it is really nice. I really love these. Like I said, these are Gatoron yellow switches, so they're really high quality. The comparison between the Dyro DK61E is what that looks like. It is slightly raised, I can tell. It isn't cleaned, but you could basically tell the difference. It's very minimal, but really good overall. Both of the power ports are on the left side of the keyboard sound test between brown and yellow switches. So if you don't know the difference. The space bar on this one is way, way better. This one's really quick though. Like you didn't have to put no effort at all. This one, you have to kind of press it down a little more. Overall, I do love this keyboard. It has really good ratings as well. So if you don't trust me, then trust those reviews because the, those reviews, I can confirm that they aren't uh, bought because they would have included like a card in here. Let's go ahead and show you the RGB backlights. So here's the keyboard. I'm gonna go and set this up real quick. So here's the cable here. All right, let's go and plug it in. All right, plugged it in. That is a nice animation. The colors on this, wow. So they're not transparent for the numbers, but they still, you can still see them pretty well. Nighttime, because it's not nighttime, let me see. All right, yeah, it's kind of hard to see it at night, but um, I don't think I'm gonna be working at night. Uh, you can change them, the keys, to PBT putting keycaps if you wanted to, and then have it transparent. Uh, so to change the colors, I believe, we're gonna look at this because I don't know. Should be okay, it should be the same as my Dyer DK61E. 
yeah so we have a ghosting effect here ghosting effect so ooh. oh these are nice okay it's nicer than mine the dyra oh it's like a line okay this one is not in my other keyboard okay this is nice wow that that's cool okay so far this is, i'm liking a lot more than my direct keyboard and i keep mentioning that one because that one's a best seller on amazon that's so cool it's like a random disco effect decrease the brightness is this one p to increase it is this one you can see and by the way i'm pressing fn that's basically the function button here's a closer look of all the functions so fn backspace on and off as you can see turn it off completely turn it on uh fn p brightness decrease which i already did and then brightness increase backlight modes one through five you can modify and then backlight modes six through nine so there's 10 modes so this one this one this ones are mainly solid colors this is like a breathing slash rainbow one like i said you can slow down the speed of it you have this one which is a rainbow you can increase the speed if you want got this one this is like a swirl pretty nice and this one back to normal and then i believe if it's on a solid color you should be able to just change it normally so this is left this is right this is up this is down and then that's pretty much it. And you have a media key, so you can do all those where they say. Now, the one thing that isn't really handy is if you're new to using it, which I am. It's not as similar as to the Dyra because it actually has the functions here. And this one, it doesn't have any function on the bottom, so you can't really tell. Uh, as I said, I'm new to the 60% realm. Uh, so I don't really know which do. But on, on the Dyra, I don't have to whip out a user manual. I could just do this, do this, increase. You have different buttons, you'll always remember it. So that's really handy on this one. And then I'm just gonna let you guys pause it on this if you would like to see it. Those are basically all the functions. The lock button here and the battery indicator. Might have to download the software, which I don't know how to do it. It should be on that website. But overall, I do like this keyboard. So if you guys like it, it'll be in the description as well. I personally like it a lot and uh, it's my new keyboard. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move it here with along with my mouse, my $12 mouse, which I will be upgrading soon because I wanna see more peripheral videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that.